Welcome back into my Robin Young PC. This is part four. Kick it off with a little retro with a new item I found. 8x10 photo circa 1985 ish in his road baby blue uniform. But this video is going to concentrate on more post playing cards starting with the year 2009. As companies continue to release modern cards of legends and past greats, their issues frequently use similar photos or images and only change the coloring, numbering, and printing on backs. Take for example 2010 Topps National Chicle, or Chickle is it, with alternate Bazooka and Diamond Stars backs. 2010 Topps cards your mom threw out on the top have different backs, the original Tops and the promotion version. Gypsy Queen parallels come with a variety of colored frames. The 2012 Tops cloth sticker on the bottom left, which actually is a sticker, is a retelling of the 1977 version. Lots of Panini with no logos, but there are blue, gold, and green crystal shard parallels to the base Cooperstown. A stamp signifies the state of Milwaukee on the regular hometown heroes on the bottom left, and there are black and gold versions of homegrown heroes. Retro designs have become a norm as we see throwbacks from the early 1970s and mid-1980s, including a 1972 mini template. Many variations in several years of Gypsy Queen and Allen and Ginter also became frequent. Here we see more colored parallels from Topps Triple Threads on the top left. And more retro designs in 1989 Bowman and Topps Mini. The last card in the middle row and the first two cards on the bottom, 2014 Topps High Tech in whirlpool and shattered glass patterns. There's also cracked ice, clouds, and something called disco. These museum and triple thread cards have much thicker stock. At the top of teammate and fellow Hall of Famer Paul Molitor, some new shots, and at the bottom a nod to his love of motorbikes. Topps Archives became a new series to collect. The modern designs are nice and new images are always welcome, but it seems to be too much with all the variations of base cards, so I'll stick to my vintage needs for now. Any questions you might have regarding cards which weren't specifically touched upon, please feel free to ask or comment below. Thanks for watching. Here's what's coming up in the next installment.